Evening folks, uh, just carrying on the theme from the last video where I showed you CPC's uh, Duratool desoldering pump. Uh, I want to talk uh, about soldering now, um, rather than desoldering. Uh, I'll just show you the irons I've got and the ones I use uh, routinely. So yeah, without further ado, we'll just quickly go through them. Uh, this first one is an Antex, uh, one of the bottom end ones, the ER30, 30, 30 watt, uh, with the PVC. Um, PVC lead on it. Uh, as you can see by the uh, insulation tape bodge, yeah, as soon as you touch it, it just melts. <laughs> so yeah, it's a fair few years old now, but uh, still working, still going strong. Um, if I'm out and about, um, you know, if one of my mates wants me to do something in a car or, or something like that, my go-to iron is another Antex, the GasCat 75P. Now, at the time when I purchased this, everywhere was selling it um, for, I think this kit was about maybe £80, pounds, something like that. It was certainly between, you know, £70 and £90. Pounds. It was a fairly expensive um, iron. And um, it comes with them. It comes with a solder tips, a uh, hot air tip, this uh, jet blowtorch, if you want to call it, nozzle and a hot knife for cutting plastic along with uh, you know a stand and uh, tip cleaning sponge a little deflector for your soldering pipes and that and uh, yeah I got this for it was less than £20 I can't remember if it was CPC I think I think it was Rapid Electronics if her, uh, my memory serves me well um, but when I got it <coughs> excuse me it was leaking it was faulty so I emailed Antex and explained this to them and uh, they sent me another one free of charge. Uh, this is the, the faulty one, <coughs> um, which I've just transferred the tips into. But yeah, this is a really good iron, uh, adjustable uh, adjustable temperature. And um, yeah, it uses butane, so no no uh, problems if you don't have power. But onto my main iron, um, which I use on my bench, and I'm not proud of it as it is uh, super cheapo, super crap, it is this, uh, again, CPC Duratool um, soldering iron uh, controller uh, variable temperature thing. Um, it is not temperature controlled, it is purely just a variable temperature and there's no feedback to tell you what temperature it's at. Um, yeah, super crap, uh, low build quality, but the reason I use it is because one, it gets warm and melts solder. Two, it's got a built-in stand. And three, nine ninety-nine. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I've got another one. They do a, a newer model. This it's equally as as crap. It's equally this horrific blue plastic, and uh, equally it's a tenner off uh, CPC. Um, but I've been doing quite a lot of videos, and I'm doing a lot more repair work for people. Um, and stuff so i thought it was maybe time to upgrade uh not to anything spectacular um not to anything expensive um but to something that was temperature controlled and um <coughs> would be <coughs> excuse me uh, uh relatively but uh, good build quality and doing a bit of research i thought that this uh might be the idea one for me it's a uh, tenma uh, soldering station digital soldering station temperature controlled uh yeah features esd safe um nice blue and white lcd it's programmable and the temperature range 150 up to 450 degrees celsius or if you're american and you prefer 302 to 842 degrees fahrenheit um it's got a physical uh, power switch on the side, uh, comes with stand iron sponge and yeah if you go on CPC you'll see there is uh, various tips you can get for this um, soldering station. Um, yeah, don't think it says anything else on it. So I just thought we'd do a quick unbox and then see what we get in the, the box so here it goes. So upon opening it we can see we've got our um, uh, what do you call it? Instruction manual. Which, uh, yeah, fairly good. Just diagrams looks fairly straightforward enough. Uh, disassembly guide for the the handle uh, for replacing the heating element. 
and there we go there's the various tips available for it so quite a substantial range there uh, depending on what your um, you know your requirements are doesn't look too bad at all um, as you can see uh, sorry I don't know if I just mentioned it my memory's gone tonight <laughs> um, Ten Mat is um, a, a better uh, better quality brand but it, it is uh, Fano and CPC is their own brand, but better quality, uh, more a professional range, if you like, uh, than the the Dura Tool range that they do. Uh, right, so we've got our instruction manual, um, and here we have the, uh, the handle itself, which we'll have a look at. Right, first thing uh, which didn't mention at all in the description uh, is that it is a silicon uh, lead which is ideal so it's nice and flexible and it's not going to get melted if we uh, if we touch it with the iron. The tip that's on this is just a conical tip uh, about one millimeter possibly maybe slightly smaller and then um, if we just unscrew here yeah, there's a there's a tips there, so we can uh, replace that very easily. I'm looking at that. I'm pretty sure that's a a generic Heiko type tip. Um, so I might have a look on eBay and see if I can get some tips off there and see if they fit because you can get them pennies off eBay, obviously. Um, we've got a five pin. Uh, I don't know what kind of connector you call that, but it's a screw-on type uh, keyed keyed uh, plug with five conductors. So obviously we're going to get some feedback on in terms of the temperature uh, back to the controller. But um, yeah, that's nice. Um, yeah, nice uh, lead on that. So fairly good quality. It's uh, <coughs> a small box next. And here we've got a stand. Oh, this is this is nice. This is a cast uh, some sort of cast alloy. Got a little sponge there, and then yeah, that fits in there quite nicely. There's no storage for extra tips. That's just the uh, ventilation. But um, yeah, there's no way that can touch the sides. Um, that's a you know a really nice fit. And then on to the the main event, I suppose, which is the, um, the soldering station itself. I'll just go to the uh, the uh, box there. Now the obviously the, the lead itself is PVC on this. I'll just uh, undo the, uh, the cable here. God, I wouldn't have thought this would be so difficult. Here we go. Uh, British Standard Approved Plug. Um, let's make sure that's off. And there we go. So on the front, that's the protective uh, film. Nice tactile buttons on there. And uh, yeah, this is fairly heavy, as you would expect. Um, yeah, nice, nice build quality. It's also, it's hard to see from, from here, but if I put it on the side, you can see that the, the front feet are uh, about a centimetre higher than the rear. So if you're sitting at your bench, uh, I'm standing up at my bench here, but if I'm sitting at my bench, I'm going to get a nice, uh, you know, it's angled nicely towards me so I can see the screen. Um, so I suppose we'll just um, hook this up. I will take the plastic bit off because uh, the, the tip protector, because obviously that'll just melt otherwise. Just screw that in there. 
and we'll turn her on. Okay, so set to 300, and as we can see, the uh, temperature is slowly building up. And that looks, uh, that's up to temperature, 300 degrees Celsius um, in about 10 seconds. I don't know if you'd agree with that, I might uh, double check. And um, I suppose the best thing to do is just to try it. Um, yeah, sorry, I don't know if I showed you the screen there, if you can see it right. Um, yeah, fairly, fairly clear readout and it's a really good viewing angle. So you can have this probably anywhere on your bench and uh, be fine uh, to see. So I'm not going to solder anything, I'm just going to... Um, just going to... Uh, basically melt solder on these pads and see how it performs so yeah it's a solder man um <laughs> what else can I say? Uh seems to work okay. I'll just give that a quick clean and I uh, put it away. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, once I've used it a bit more and uh, I, you know, tried all the the uh, functions, I'll maybe do another video. We'll just have a, I'll have a quick play just now. Um, presumably this is one, two and three, so yeah, so the, the, the buttons um, here refer to these three pre pro three pre programmed temperatures. Um obviously coming down in heat it's gonna take a little bit longer. Um if I want to put it back to three hundred so we've set three hundred um and it's up there almost instantly. So we'll see how long it takes to uh, get to four hundred. There we go, so it's set one, two, three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So fourteen seconds or so. It just it seems to have overshot there and went up to four hundred and twenty odd and then it's come back down. So yeah, that's not too bad. Um do we see if press and hold, does that do in? All right, so press and hold, uh, obviously up and down temperatures, uh, up and down controls for the temperature. Um, press and hold that one, what does this one do? Oh, that's a calibration function, which I probably shouldn't have done whilst it was at that high temperature. I don't know what it's doing. Obviously calibrating, but uh, yeah, I let it do its thing. Um, yeah, so that was uh, yeah, you turn my solder iron. Uh, I'll just go through the uh, the codes with you. That um, so the the station itself with the iron is SD zero one seven three eight six nine, and this is currently uh, in the clearance. Uh, part of uh, CPC, uh, £35 plus the VAT, £7, so it's £42 in total. Um, uh, I did get another uh, replacement uh, handle, uh, which comes obviously with another conical tip. Um, you know, it's a, just a complete assembly rather than stripping it down if I need to use it quickly. Uh, and the replacement handle, nine ninety five, one ninety nine. So yeah, just under twelve pounds. Um, yeah. So I shall uh, maybe follow up once I've uh, learned how to use it properly, and um, you know, let let you know how it went uh, and how it's performing. Um, this uh, before I go as well. This again, like the desoldering iron. Um, this is available in the main 
a CPC inventory. Uh, but if you just search for Tenma ESD soldering station, you're probably going to pay a bit more for it. Um, but if you use this, uh, so the the second code down, um, and for and the third code down for the replacement handle, uh, these are both in the clearance, and you'll get them a bit cheaper. Anyway, guys, I'll let you go. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. If uh, you enjoy my channel, please subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Thanks again. Bye bye.